Are you okay, Mother? You look a little ashen. Good. You listening to me, Missy? If you're gonna go on about more doom and gloom headed my way, I don't want to hear it. Oh, well, suit your sick self. <laughs> don't say it in one you, though. Because the minute that Luis finds out that you encouraged Antonio to keep Sheridan locked up in that mental ward, Missy, game over. Hmm. And, uh, just how is Luis gonna find out? If Antonio didn't tell him about Alistair urging him to have Sheridan committed, which he didn't, you really think he's gonna tell him about me? Oh, you know what the best part is? Luis has been banned from ever seeing Sheridan. Well, hopefully forever. So, once that sinks in and Luis accepts that he's lost Sheridan, he's gonna come knocking on my door looking for that loving feeling. And guess what? I'm gonna give it to him, but good. And once I'm through loving Luis, he is gonna be so weak, he might need your walker to help him stand up. Well, it is times like this I wish I knew if your father had insanity in his family. Excuse me? You slept with so many men, you don't even know who my father is. Well, whoever he is, I am certain that his family tree had a few loose limbs, if you get my drift, because you are downright cuckoo. And one of these days, somebody, sometimes, someplace is gonna realize that baby isn't yours, but it's Sheridan's, and then your whole world is gonna blow up in your face. Kaboom! Please give it a rest, Edna. Luis is not gonna find out the truth about me, about the baby, about anything. <laughs> well, you see, I wouldn't be so sure about that, because every time you bring that baby to be nursed by Sheridan, it reinforces their bond with one another. And you know what? <laughs> one of these days, Sheridan's gonna insist on a DNA test, and then you know what? Kaboom! And you know what? Sheridan is in the psych ward, so she's not really in any kind of position to demand much of anything, okay? Maybe a little extra padding on the walls, but she's not even gonna get that. Well, you better hope and pray that nothing else happens to make people suspicious, little missy. You shut up. Nobody's gonna find out that Martin isn't my baby. <laughs> oh, never say never, because when you least expect it... <gasps> oh, we got mail. I bet it's for me, because I put out an internet personals ad. You know, hipster sinks hunt. Hipster, got it? <laughs> yeah, I get it. I'm pretty sure you won't. Oh, oh, Missy, you give me a man a dark room and a six-pack, and I'll prove you wrong. <laughs> Uh-oh. You got another email from, from that real Dr. Culver's office. What do you mean, another one? Well, look, I, you have three already, you know. I tried to warn you, tried to tell you, but no, you were too busy trying to fool Luis into thinking that little Martin was your flesh and blood to pay attention. 
Oh, yes. See? He wants to know what you were trying to pull in that office that day when that little pouch you were wearing around your belly broke and five pounds of sugar spilled all over the reception room floor. <laughs> What's none of Dr. Clover's business what I was doing? Well, shucks. The kindly doctor doesn't think so. He thinks you're trying to pull a scam. <laughs> trying to defraud insurance companies with bogus claims for a bogus pregnancy. And he doesn't want you putting his medical license in jeopardy. So he insists that you contact his office right away or he is going to contact the authorities. <laughs> I'm going to nip this in the bud right now. What are you going to do? Torch Dr. Culver's office the way you did Sheridan's cottage, or invite him over for coffee and capture. Doctor's office. This is uh, Beth Wallace calling. I just received an outrageous email from you people accusing me of some sort of criminal intent last time I was in your office. I'll let you speak to Dr. Culver. No. I mean, there is no need. Dr. Culver strongly disagrees. So maybe I spilled a little something in your office a while back. All you had to do was call a damn janitor and have him clean it up. You don't really have to make this a federal case. Dr. Culver finds your behavior odd and the incident highly suspect. Mm hmm Okay. Well, why don't you go ahead and tell Dr. Culver to leave me the hell alone or I will sue him and you for harassment. We were trying to get in touch with you for an explanation of what happened. That's all. Oh, and, and, and you can also tell Dr. Culver, after being vilified this way, I will no longer be his patient, so he can just forget that he ever knew me, and I will do the same for you people. Do you understand? Do you understand? Did you hear me? I said tell Dr. Culver to stop harassing me, or I will take that quack to court. But he was only trying to... Woo! Quite a performance, Bethy. Thank you, Mother. Hmm. No one in their right mind would keep harassing me after that. No one in their right... <laughs> you getting the irony in that one, Angels? Hey. Deleted. That's what I think of Culver's stupid letter. Now it's gone. Just like Sheridan, who will live out the rest of her days in the loony bin. Cold-hearted and crazy. Boy, you are a prize, Bethy. A booby prize. Look, no one will find out that Martin is Sheridan's baby, especially now without Culver questioning me about what I was doing in his waiting room, pretending to be pregnant. 